Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? How you doing? Come on and sit on down. Now today... I'm putting on my investigative hat. Nice fedora you got there, brah. Because there is something truly horrible going on, which is the rise of Stanley Cups. These kinds of things happen all the time. Big products that aren't hip, they rise up out of the ashes like a phoenix and they sweep people over. Like this is the Stanley Cup, which was traditionally like a worker man's thermos that you'd use for coffee. Now has become something that little girls and little boys are getting swept up into school like a cult. If you don't have it, people are getting bullied. Are you cool? Are you hip? Kind of reminds me of the era of did you have Crocs, Ugg boots, and North Face jacket. Carhartt now is a status symbol for streetwear. I remember my grandma used to wear New Balances back in the day because her old crooked ass back hurt. Now it's cool to wear New Balances. These all come in waves, but right now Stanley Cups are taking over, but it's aggressive. It's too goddamn aggressive. The most controversial cup known to man, the Stanley Cup Thermos Mug Handle, Mug Handle, Handle Cup. It's a cup that has a handle. And I simply, I, I don't understand. And I bet you don't either. Stanley, named after its founder, William Stanley, has been around since 1913. And from its inception, the brand has claimed that the bottle cannot break. This notion was more than validated when earlier last year, a clip on TikTok went viral of a woman's burnt car revealing that not only had the Stanley Cup survived, it still has ice in it. Honestly, it's a pretty good endorsement. This video shot up to 95 million views, and it was the best possible ad to prove the cup's extreme durability. Your house catches on fire. Stanley Cup's just fine. If there's ever a house fire, put the baby in the Stanley Cup. It'll survive the fire. It seems the situation has gone nuclear. It's gone Oppenheimer. When is Oppenheimer gonna win the Oscars already? Jesus Christ. Can you see the ketchup on my shirt? I need to have a, this is ketchup on my shirt. I look like a disgusting bum. It feels very funny that I'm pointing the finger at people when I look like this, but you, I'm glad you're able to see the fucking disgusting mess on my shirt. Anyways, if you probably think that's just random, these things just happen. No one orchestrates this, right? Wrong! We have to talk about Terrence Riley, the ex-chief marketing officer for Crocs. Back in the fucking early 2000s, people used to get bullied the fuck out of for wearing those stupid ass shoes. Now all of a sudden, Terrence Riley comes in, transforms the whole game. Now Post Malone's wearing Crocs. Now Post Malone's dropping Crocs. Now it's cool to wear Crocs. Terrence Riley has now gotten promoted to the chief marketing officer for Stanley, and he's doing it all over again. My man cannot be stopped. He could take a fucking brick and make it something that 12-year-old girls would want. Riley was appointed in 2020. He has replaced all of his time watching the market by following TikTok. Motherfucker's looking at TikTok trends, and he does this. Ooh. I have this old company. A Stanley Cup that your grandpa has one of those probably in his kitchen. How the f do we make this shit profitable? And he watched TikTok and he's like, this is dribble the basketball. And he said, Terrence for three again. Pop! Riley has changed the brand, once beloved by trade workers, into a fervently craved collectible for Gen Z and millennial moms alike. He says, you want to make this, you want to get some money? Get these dusty old bones to stop buying our fucking cup and let the Gen Z women and millennial moms come in and really make this a little pay pig, dude. We're going to smack this little pay pig's ass. He's not only making a product, he's making culture. He's making people talk about it. He's making content. People are making content and Terrence is the one involved. A recent collab with country singer and songwriter Lainey Wilson, don't know who that is, sold out in 11 minutes for a quencher cup. Can we just take a second to take Lainey Wilson's exclusive cup and show it right here? Sold out in 11 minutes. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. The beginning of the new year can be stressful. I mean, you're back to work, the break's over, you know, everything starts piling on and it can get extremely stressful. Whether it's stress or a long-standing problem, BetterHelp's therapy is here to help you. And if you use this link right here, you'll get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes therapy so much easier and a lot less intimidating. You can have sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even just messaging back and forth. Whichever way that is most comfortable for you is the way that BetterHelp wants to work. Since BetterHelp's benefits are virtual, you can match with over 30,000 therapists based on your needs and preferences and find the perfect therapist for you. Depending on where you live, you may only have a few options around town, and you might have to drive miles and miles to sit on a little stiff couch. Instead, deal with your personal problems from comfort of your home with BetterHelp. In most cases, people who join BetterHelp get matched within 48 hours. And to lighten the stress even further, you don't have to worry about the awkwardness of breaking up with your therapist. If you feel like someone's in a great fit, you can switch at any time with the click of a button for free. Join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash papameat to get started. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and back to the video. 
prior to Riley's arrival, Stanley was around, but not the top of everyone's list. And its sales have only started to climb around 2017 when it was featured on the buy guide. People get in line for all kinds of things, but I'm putting my my fist down on this because it's a goddamn cup. It's a cup. Roll the first video, dude. Come with me to get the Stanley X Starbucks cup. Arrived at 4.40 a.m. There was like three other people who we actually met in line during the Valentine's Stanley drop. People are just starting to roll in now. You know what? I can't really fault this person too much. I remember one time I camped out at Best Buy for a uh, for a $250 Vizio TV. <laughs> Lines. How many of these I'll get? Um, I'm not I wouldn't tell you either. I'd be like, don't even worry about it. You have to like have a, a an actual ticket to buy a cup. But I want to see. I want to see it get real here, dude. Which is this is the mobs begin to form in public. The dash for the Stanley Cups. I mean, look at this, dude. Imagine speed walking or jogging. It's sad. Homie looks like he's fucking in pain. The way he's walking out kind of looks like he has a chapped ass, dude. I've had that walk many times before in my life. Don't know if you wipe good enough or something like that. You got that like some cheeks hurt he's doing like little little duck waddle over there look at that that looks like a chapped ass man if i've ever seen little kid wants a stanley cup for christmas <laughs> oh it's this young of a kid i mean that's just sweet that's adorable the juxtaposition between a little girl being happy over a gift the love between a father and a little girl is a lot more wholesome than like a 22 year old who's just like at in line since 4 40 in the morning i have all of them and i've been waiting in line for s s so long Oh my god, we got one! I want to see some people stealing the sh and fighting each other here. That's all I see. This is about to be ready to get some fucking chaos. God, the girl in Ugg boots. I, just, I thought Ugg boots were gone. I am out of the loop. God, look at these. There's nothing more disgusting than suburban moms just like ransacking at Target. If there's any of our viewers who work at Target, I'm sorry. Pushing some girl all the way, grabbing her ears. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Guy jumps over counter at Starbucks to steal a whole box of limited edition daily cups. All the girls like, no! Oh, he's on a rampage. I don't think he's making it out of the store. I can tell you that much. No? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> people dragging him back in. I have seen people run into like the Apple store and yank out like cell phones and everything or people like go into grocery stores and steal shit. This is the only time I've ever seen the public be like, no! And it's just a guy who has a box of six Stanley Cups. So he's he's trying to flip them online. I feel dirty then if I bought if I bought one online, I'd feel like this guy's the guy who's selling it to me. This monster. He got away with one of them. What a champion. Wow, you guys. Look at that. Wow, guys. Look at that. The resale value. The cup sells for $45 to $50. That's still kind of high. I guess like 45 to 50 isn't like crazy, but it's a cup. I guess it's the big, it's a cup. I'm not going to speculate on thermal prices, all right? I don't know. I don't know if it's a ripoff or not. But some cups are selling for hundreds of, of dollars here. I mean, look on eBay here. Oh my God. A new listing Starbucks 40 ounce tumbler pink Stanley cup is $300 or best offer, dude. Or best offer. Holy moly. All right, there's one here. Starbucks X 40 ounce one, and it's selling for $11,000 for a best offer. I would say on average, it's like 150 to 300 bucks is what I'm saying. Some are 350. Why is this happening with Stanley Cups? What kind of psychology is going into it? You know, you got dopamine going to your brain. Whenever you want to buy something, feel like you're a part of the herd, you want to get a Stanley Cup. Like I said, dude, you don't want to show up to school or you don't want to show up to work and all everyone, all your coworkers have one, especially God forbid you buy an off brand one. Or you Right. <laughs> the tweet says blind consumerism, disregard for environmental impact, individualism, gender dichotomy, pre prescribed identity evolution, illusion of choice, marble tile fireplace. This is my personal nightmare. <laughs> You know, it's fucked up. I look at this and I'm like, what a lovely family. I think my biggest gripe, because I see these kids and stuff, I'm like, a family can enjoy a cup. And right here, it's like, is there anything wrong with people having apple slices and drawing on their living room floor? I don't think so. You can give me a Stanley Cup and a nice loving family. Maybe I want that in my life, dude. House fire. Holy shit. Stanley Cup looks so good there. Your house burns down. All of your actual real life possessions that matter to you, like family photos, the place I mean, that protected you from harsh weather, everything that you've ever known and loved, and the only thing left is a fucking like stack of like multicolored Stanley Cups. What if that's that's a nightmare? You know what I mean? And then the fad's gonna be over in seven weeks, so you're just like, you gotta sell them now or you know, never. Who knows? Our car set on fire, um, and this Yeti cup. 
So the Yeti cup too. See, I remember Yeti being the big one. It's not like it's the most new thing ever that people are obsessed over cups. I mean, it's been a thing for a minute because Stanley Cup, the whole idea of it is that you're not buying as much plastic. You're not doing all this stuff. It's supposed to be indestructible. But I think the irony comes in when it's the fact that people are giving these pros to why they like the Stanley Cup, yet they're buying 50 or 60 of them at a time. You're just being as wasteful as if you were buying all of these different kinds of things that would be disposable anyway. Imagine in the year 2140, like a landfill just full of Stanley Cups that refuse to die. And the earth, it gets shoved down and it gets pushed even deeper and deeper down and the earth's core is like <laughs> the Stanley Cups aren't even fucking phased by it. They keep getting pushed down until the core, the earth's core becomes infused with Stanley Cups and molten lava and energy and stuff and the earth starts to crumble. It's going to be the destruction of the earth because it's going to go down the core. It's going to mix with it. And it's going to cause these big things. Earth's going to fucking split in half and like a, like a bag of confetti. You're just going to see all these like billions of Stanley Cups just floating around in space as everyone just starts to choke and die. That's, that's what I think of the, is going to happen in the future, but probably not, right? Probably not. It becomes like a saying, right? Stanley Cups are the NFTs for white women. Taylor Swift fans. White women, can they get a break? Are they the most surprised people on earth? They might be. We probably had 50 cups put out before open and the minute the store opened, people were rushing in to grab them. We even had a single order with like 20 plus cups. Why in the world will someone need so many cups? More importantly, what is their job? Let's <laughs> be able to afford this. Thousand dollars in Stanley Cups, Target order? God damn, dude. Got cussed out by people camping outside for Stanley Cups. Pulled up 10 minutes early for my opening shift to people lined up outside. Two women li were literally hovering over the door while we walked in. One of the women made a comment about, they must hate their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, I don't think that's very funny. <laughs> Slapping their knees and sucking their Stanley Cups. <laughs> <laughs> Before I locked the door, we we got only two of the Stanley Cups and partners bought them right at open. The woman came in, asked for them. We told them we didn't have any more. She demanded to know where they were because she came last night to bother partners setting up and has also been walking around the building, shining her flashlight through the windows. <laughs> She's like looking for the Stanley Cups. She lost it when she was told the cups were purchased by partners, told us she talked to our sales manager and that she was told she was guaranteed the cups that obviously never happened. And she was reporting our SSV to corporate and left the building with a good luck keeping your job. So in her office, she like walks out. Go fuck yourself, whore! A nine-year-old was bullied after bringing a fake Stanley Cup to school. What a fucking loser, dude. Don't show up to school with that. Are you kidding me? Mom has a message for a fellow partners after daughter was bullied over Stanley Cup's knockoff. This is the cup that we got our daughter for Christmas. This is not a Stanley. This is a 998 Walmart cup. Way to totally jeopardize your fucking kid like that, dude. All the other girls in her grade, I'm not saying all, maybe she said nine, ten of them, all got Stanleys for Christmas. And they made sure to let her know that this is not a real Stanley, that this is fake, and it's not as cool. Kids are honestly so cruel, aren't they? Yeah, that's not a Stanley. Also, kids would look so obnoxious with that big cup, you know what I mean? Imagine like a little like seven-year-old girl holding like that massive cup. Do I think that a nine-year-old needs a Stanley? No. Do I have one? Yes. Do I think a nine-year-old needs one? No. Do I have one? Absolutely. I have to have one for the culture at work. But she doesn't need to know that because she's nine years old. So we went and bought her a 30-ounce Stanley. In our area, at our local Ace Hardware, these are $35. Can we afford to buy her a Stanley? Yes. I feel like you could just make a video being like, it's not fucking cool, but we I did it to make my daughter feel better. I don't think that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's so much justification that she's like, you know, justifying every little action she's doing. When all actuality would be like, I'm not gonna have my kid feel like left out. I got her a $35 cup. People do that shit all the time with like shoes, jackets. I mean, there's worse things you could get. Apparently I've been proven wrong by the children in our school that are making fun of her for not having a real name brand Stanley. But this doesn't start with the kids. This starts with us. This starts with parents. When you go to school, be sure and point at the other girls who don't have Stanleys. Tell them that they're poor and that they have no taste. All right, sweetie, have a fun day at school that if our nine-year-old daughter came home and somehow we found out that she made fun of another girl at school for not having something name brand, whether it's a Stanley, Lululemon, Uggs, I don't care what it is. We would hit her. We would beat that child because that doesn't fly in this house. I think I physically gagged back in like 2003 when Crocs were coming out. I was on a baseball team and this kid had two pair. He had a red pair and a blue pair. And he's like, which one should I get? And I was like, <laughs> throw on some sandals. 
I can't with my socks. I'm like, oh my God, I can't with this. That's a responsible parent. If it was my daughter, I'd be like, next time you see that girl, take your off-brand cup and bash it across her fucking temple and ask her if it's a real cup. Ask her how off-brand her teeth are when they fly out of her fucking skull. And then pick up the teeth and put it in your off-brand cup and make an instrument out of it. You probably need your cup more than I do now, sweetie. And she's like, oh, no. like blood coming out of her fucking mouth. And then every time for the rest, until you graduate high school, you never see that little again, you do this. Hey, Sarah. The only thing that's gonna be funny is these are all gonna be in a landfill. I just think it's pretty crazy. You know what? It's just, it's a fad. I've had my fair share of things too. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying that right now, I cannot believe that there is a cultural phenomenon that is over a cup. And we need to hold Terrence Riley accountable for his accusations. I've already sent him a worded email. I will include it right here. This is me boycotting him to step down and to step away from marketing so our children aren't affected by his corporate schemes any longer. I'm sending it to the president as well as I'll show you here. I'm CCing it, boom. All in all, if you have a child or if somebody comes up to you and they show you your Stanley Cup, just smile and nod and try to understand that some people just get caught up in the wave and that's all right. Their water's a little colder and a little safer than our regular cups. Thank you so much for watching the Papa Meat video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. All of these. It's only Stanley. <laughs> 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 the only left from Stanley is the camp mug. And trust me, honey, if you show up to school with that fucking thing, you're gonna get bullied. Hey, mom, can I get beat up at school? I just try to get some pussy with the camp mug, dude. Got some ketchup on my sweatshirt.